Hey guys, Phantom Phoenix here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my white undershirt for my Link cosplay. I started with a shirt I already knew that I liked and used that as a base. I experimented with the collar, extending it to basically be a turtleneck. I made sure this would fit right by using scrap fabric and making a mock-up before cutting out my pieces on my actual fabric. You will see me bringing in some pattern pieces for the armholes as I decided to use a pattern for the sleeve from a cardigan pattern I already had and I'm using the body part of the cardigan pattern to cut out the armholes so that the sleeve will fit. Here I'm cutting out the back piece of my shirt, which will be basically the exact same as the front except the armhole will be slightly different, so I'm using the back part of the cardigan to cut out the shape of that armhole. I didn't show it in the video, but once I had all my pieces, I pinned and sewed the shoulder seams together, and once I had that, I then pinned the sleeves into place and then sewed them in. Here I'm starting from the armpit seam, pinning that together, and then working my way down the sleeves and sides, and then sewing that seam. Now I'm making the facing pieces for the collar by tracing the shape of the collar onto my fabric. As you can see, these pieces are short and I cut out two pieces like this for the front and back, but I ended up needing the front to be much longer, which you will see in a second. So here it is with the new front piece, and as you can also see, I added some interfacing to help the collar keep its shape. Once I had those pinned, I sewed them together.
After the facing was sewn, I then pinned that to the main piece right sides together. As you can see here, there is a slit in the main shirt and I waited until the whole piece was pinned before cutting that slit into the facing. I also decided to have the entire front of the shirt open since the original plan of having this be a shirt I pulled over my head with just a slit proved to be too difficult to do, so I ended up needing two more long facing pieces that I added to the collar facing. It's confusing, I know. Once the facing was sewn, I turned it right sides out ironed it, and then I added some grommets to the top of the shirt so I can lace this small section up like the original design. For my specific grommets, I just marked out the places that I wanted them, made a small hole, and inserted the grommet inside, and then used the tool that came with my grommets to close it shut. Depending on what kind of grommets you may have, the steps to your grommets may be slightly different than this. For the other closures on the shirt, I decided to use some hook and eyes all the way down the opening of the shirt, and I did my best to only sew it to the facing so the stitching does not show on the outside of the shirt. Once that was all finished, you may notice that the color is a little bit darker than before, and that is because I tea stained the whole shirt just for a little bit to darken up the color. And here in this clip, I am sewing the facing to the garment. I am doing this because the facing was giving me a lot of trouble with moving around a lot, and with the stitching, I'm making sure not to bring the needle all the way through the main garment fabric so that it will not show on the outside. As you may also notice, I did overlock all the edges, which is completely optional, but I chose to do it to give it a little bit of a more professional look. And with that, the garment was pretty much finished. I hope this video was helpful, and if you like my content, like this video and consider subscribing, as well as following me on all my social media, which is down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.